I'm not married, I never married. Just never happened. I never just met my person. I don't think I was very good at picking men, actually. I think there were a lot of disasters along the way, actually. I will be 80 years of age in January. Parties, there were quite a lot of parties in those days, yeah, so we were always seemed to be partying. I took a, a, a smoke one time, just a bit of pot, just to see what it was, <laughs> just to see what it was like. But it didn't really have, I didn't think it had any effect on me, but I never really tried it again. <laughs> oh, I wore the hot pants and yeah, I wore them. I was quite young really, you know, I left school at 14 and um, went to Baggett Street School, left there at 14 and got a job in a handkerchief company. So I didn't really do the dancing scene, which I regret. I love dancing. I love dancing. You know, music, I love it, lifts the spirit, you know, and I could be dancing in the kitchen. Two lines, but just I won't yeah. stop. Memories light the corners of my mind. Misty watered colored memories of the way we were. It was my husband, I think I was reading my first kiss. I don't really. It wasn't my husband anyway. <laughs> I can still remember it. Very enjoyable. <laughs> Clark Abel was my idol. <laughs> Went to see, as I say, Dicky Rock. I was very fond of him. I like Leonard Cohen. I didn't like dancing because I just uh, went a couple of times with the girls in the factory and the idea of standing and waiting on some man to come over and ask me to dance just didn't sit well with me. And I took up skating. I met my husband through a friend of his who was going with a cousin of mine and I didn't like him. I remember wearing the mini skirts. <laughs> I don't think a woman is dressed unless she has a nice pair of stiletto heels. And we trip around in them all day, did our work, our cleaning, didn't put on slippers, went with our stilettos. Lovely. They were the very first pair of shoes I ever bought. I was only about 14. I wore stilettos from the time I was 13. I remember getting, um, going to um, Miss Selfridge and getting blue bell bottoms with, um, with a yellow duffel coat. The saddest day of my life was my brother died there six years ago from esophagus cancer. And the following year, unfortunately, I lost my sister. That's only 11 months between us. And then the year after that, I lost a brother, 59 years of age. He, we just found him dead in his flat. So the last few years of my life has been very, very sad. It's a, but I think human beings need the contact. I think it's nearly unnatural, and that's a big statement that people are on their own. So I had four children, so I reared them on my own. I have um, emphysema, and that has curtailed. The one thing I loved and always did was walk. And I miss that. I do still do a bit, but not the way I used to walk. I clear my head and sort out anything that was going on was through walking. Scattered pictures of the smiles we used to share. Smiles we gave to one another for the way we were. I have a friend, I have a man friend, yes, 
I met him at my Spanish class. Oh, he's a good bit younger than me. He'd come around to me and I'd, we'd have a couple of glasses of wine and... Tell me, could we, should we... I sent a pub then. <laughs> well, I wouldn't encourage it. <laughs> I had two aunts in America and now and again they'd sent home parcels and Mammy got this beautiful watch, diamonds all on it. And of course, Vivian loved the watch and I took it out of the press one day and wore it to school. And must have been coming home across the park. I lost the watch. But you know what? My mother died and I never even told her that I'd done that. <laughs> I couldn't tell her. Mitched from school, went to St. Anne's, two others and myself from the choir. It was lashing rain and I got pneumonia. <laughs> well, I think children have it much harder today with the drug scene out there and violence and peer pressure. I think we were happier. We didn't have much, but at the same time, we enjoyed what we had, you know. I think the happiest day of my life was when my first child was born. I went seeing my children and grandchildren and the growing up and grown into beautiful people. I am happy. I'm happy with my life now because until you die, you'll worry. Yeah, I'm a big believer in hugs. Yeah. Seeing my family happy and contented, that's what really makes me happy. It's good to be able to laugh, I suppose. To forget, and it's the laughter. Whenever we remember the way we were.